Brooke Burns talks meeting Alex Trebek on Baywatch and whether she would host Jeopardy. The Emmy-nominated star is the host of Masterminds on the game show network, GSN. Former Baywatch star Brooke Burns never envisioned herself hosting game shows, but now, she wouldn't have it any other way. The actress made her game show hosting debut on NBC's Dog Eat Dog in 2002 and went on to host ABC's You Deserve It with Chris Harrison in 2011. Then from 2013 to 2015, the 42-year-old took on the chase where she was nominated for an Emmy as an outstanding game show host. These days, Burns is taking on the next challenge with Masterminds, on the game show network, GSN, where three contestants square off against three trivia pros, including Ken Jennings of Jeopardy, Fame, as well as Muffy Maracco and Jonathan Korbla in multiple rounds. The lowest scoring player on each side is eliminated until the top competitor and top mastermind face off. If the contestant manages to get more questions correct, they win $10,000. Burns spoke to Fox News about meeting the late Alex Trebek when she was just 19, whether she would consider hosting Jeopardy, the one painful incident on Baywatch she never forgot, as well as why she's determined to offer family-friendly programming. Fox News you met Alex Trebek on the set of Baywatch when you were just 19. What was that like? Brooke Burns, it's so funny, not something that I would have foreseen for my future, even working on Baywatch as a baby. I was only 19. So in my mind, I was getting paid to go to the beach and really just get my hands wet for lack of a better term. Fox News some chat boards have brought up your name as someone people would potentially love to see host Jeopardy. It's a huge calling, but if given the opportunity, would you consider it? Burns, oh, that's so kind. Of course, I love hosting trivia, so that would be an honor. I know they were looking at a couple of guest posts and my dear friend, Mr. Ken Jennings, I think is first in line for that. But if they want a female to come on and test it out once in a while, I think that would be quite an honor. Aside from meeting Alex Trebek, what's one memory from your time filming Baywatch that makes you smile whenever you think about it today? Burns, oh my goodness, there are so many. I don't know about smile, but I remember there was a stunt that I wanted to do by myself, which was to slide down the rope of the USS Missouri when we moved the show over to Hawaii. It looks like you're having a nice break on masterminds now. Burns, and I would say it's so much warmer, but sometimes the studio was cold, but at least I have more clothing now, so that helps. Laughs. With masterminds and previously the chase, you're no stranger to game shows. Looking back, what was it about game shows that drew you in? Burns, well, I think once I started having children, the hosting format just worked so well with my life. I loved being at home with my kids as much as I could, and then working hard in a short and fast amount of time. And hosting really does that. How are game shows like Masterminds a great outlet for people, especially during a difficult time like 2020? Burns, well, I think like most of us, we're at home a lot more than we usually are. Even though you're trying to still balance your screen time with the family, one of the best things about game shows is that it's something that all age groups can watch together. If you were stuck on a deserted island and were only allowed to make one phone call to a mastermind to help you get out, who would it be and why? Burns, wow, I'm going to have to go with Muffy on this one. And the reason is that though Ken Jennings knows everything about everything, I feel like if I'm stuck on a deserted island, that Muffy could make me laugh and then come up with something completely out of the box to also help me get off the island. And a little known fact about Ken though, he's not outdoorsy. So that's why I'm going to go with Muffy. So Ken Jennings is not exactly an outdoorsman. Is there anything else about him that surprised you? Burns, he's intimidating in the beginning just because he is so smart. But he's very witty and has a surprising 